But so we'll just find a comfy seat. And you'll get both feet out in front. And then you'll drop your knees down to the side. Oh, I'm so tight today. And uh, you can do a few with your hands back, and then we'll do a few with your hands up. I feel like hands back kind of opens up a different part of your hips too, having your chest back a little bit. For mix, it's in Lacey, um, but for the women's division, it's in Burlington. Yeah, because I guess that when when it's in Lacey, some teams always have to go to that like middle school or something, and the field there is just really bad. So they decided to move the women's division to Lacey, or I'm sorry, Burlington. Okay, then we'll do a few with hands up. I know. I know. I'm really bummed. Are there two mixed bids? Three mixed bids, three women's bids. I'm not sure about open. Okay, we'll come to one side and then put hips up. Do you think Moondog should go? Or? Well, I just think they're in contention. Yeah. I mean, Scorch is looking really good too, even though they're a new team. I don't know if I think should. Maybe should is like a strong one, but let's say they have to play out. Yes. Yeah, I think, yeah. And again, like, I would maybe say five teams could make it. Yeah, Scorch is Portland, and they have a bunch of like Onyx players. And you know, I don't know anything about their men matching players on their team, but they were good. <laughs> like, I don't know where they came from or who they are at all, but. Um, and they have had a couple really strong wins throughout the season. So like they're capable of beating one of those top three teams. And Red Flag also played really bad at Fruit Bowl, so like they could play bad. Yeah, well, I guess the third team can just ask because they're too much with Red Flag. Red Flag. That's got to right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then we'll take this trailing leg and bring it up to the front in a kneeling position. Yeah, Red Flag has those twins that used to play on traffic. I'm sure you would remember them, the like mod. Or actually, I don't know if they're twins, but I think they're sisters at least. Her last name is Mott. Yeah. Probably some other former traffic people too that I am not necessarily thinking of off the top of my head. <clears throat> and a handful of UBC players, I feel like, on that team too. Okay, and then on the next one, after you get up to half kneeling, you kind of send your hips back and straighten out your front leg and then bow forward. Get that hamstring. And Q, your regionals was this weekend? It's kind of what I thought when you were like, also when you asked if mine was this weekend too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're gonna have like Northwest style winners. Oh, fun. <laughs> Raining the whole weekend and 10 to 15 mile per hour winners. Whoa, okay, well good thing you already had your practice at when you turn it. Oh, weird. Which is just, it's just a lot. Like, that's kind of brutal. Yeah. 
Okay, now we'll do the pigeon switch. Oh, Jesus. So especially if you're playing seven games like that, it seems a little extra. Like, do we really have to do this? Yeah, and not only that, I'm just kind of worried about people's bodies. Oh my god, yeah. Do you remember when we played sectionals that one year? It was like super rainy and cold and like everybody got injured. Yeah, and it's also like, you know, across you finish games quickly. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's going to be so interesting that like... Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's too good to have this idea, but you could like roster different people for different games so then you wouldn't have to warm up and like rotate everybody for every game. Again, I don't know if it's like your place on the team to have that idea, but <laughs> that's what I was thinking after sectionals. I was like, if we ever have to do this again, we just shouldn't all play every game. Or like we should half and half come each day or something. And that'll be your hardest game. And then nice and slow on the way back down. straight out and rock back and forth that is sad because it's like you know like they're not all gonna make it <laughs> two of the teams are gonna be really sad Pains too, just like adjusting to a new team and a new division. Okay, we'll come back to hands and knees and then we'll put your legs up and we'll do our little down dog and take your right arm to left heel, add that twist. Okay, and then we'll turn these into some inchworms so you can walk your feet up to your hands and then hands back out. 
Or you can do them in place if you want and just walk your feet back and forth. Okay, finish up your inchworms and kind of roll out your wrists a little bit. We're going to do planks next. Give your wrists a little break. And we're going to start with high plank. We're going to hang out in plank for one minute. In three, two, one, go. So he's been in straight for a while. to rest and then we're going to do side plank. We're going to do three variations of side plank, 30 seconds per side, just back to back to back. So we'll do those three minutes straight through and then we'll take another one minute break. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Go back to the other side and we're going to add that thread the needle twist with your top arm. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, switch 
sides, and we're going to top leg lift. Three, two, one, switch sides. We're going to rest after this 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, one minute rest, and then we're gonna finish with another minute in forward plank. And then we'll be done with the plank part. seconds. And you can do the same plank as you did before if you want to switch from high plank to low plank or vice versa, that's fine too. We'll go in 10 seconds. Ten seconds. We got our planks in. Okay, today for the next part, we're going to do some more of that one leg wall sit. So you'll need a little spot on your wall. And we're gonna do, in addition to those, we're gonna do some of the reverse Nordics. And so you can use a, um, a band to assist you with those if you want to, or just, again, starting in this tall kneeling and just leaning back as far as you can and then back up again. Um, you could add a band to like assist you to get lower and pull yourself back up. <clears throat> and then we're also gonna be doing some of the hip bridge with your back on the bench and for these ones we'll do back on the bench one leg on the ground and so you can have a weight for that part if you want um, and then you'll need a spot on the wall for the one leg wall sit and we're going to go on the clock so we'll start in about 45 seconds so you have like a, a little bit less than a minute to keep getting yourself set up and the first round will be kind of like a warm-up round so it's okay if you're not if you're kind of setting up as you go, that's fine too. 30 more seconds and we'll do our first wall sit. And we're gonna do 25 seconds per side on the wall sit. And then you'll have 10 seconds to rest and get set up for your reverse Nordics. We'll do 50 seconds of reps, however many you want. Okay, starting in 10 seconds. Oh yeah, I think I want shoes for this. Okay, three, two, all that time to get set up, but I didn't do it. Okay, ready, set, go. 
I just forget that my socks always slide around. Okay, so get set and then lift one leg. <clears throat> Five more seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. will be next. Three, two, one. I almost have 50 seconds to do as many as you want in that time. So you can do reps the whole time or not or slow and steady or really fast. It's really up to you. Okay, then we'll go back to our wall sit. And we will have a halfway mark on these. Ready, set, go. I'll try to be loud. Three, two, 
one, switch. Two, one, rest, hit bridge. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and for the next part, you're gonna still want your your bench or your box, whatever you're working with. And then a weight, and it can be, you know, a light weight, just a single weight, and we're gonna be holding it at your chest. And you can always go up um, as we go if you want to. chest and we're going to squat down to your box and sit fully on your box and then come back up again and you're going to try to like 
land and lift off as slowly and lightly as you can. And then after five reps, you're gonna set your weight down and you'll go from seated on the box up into a jump. Seated on your box, up into a jump. And so we're gonna do five squats and then five jumps to your box or from your box. <clears throat> and again, you can take it as heavy or, or as light as you want. Yeah, Enzo is being way too loud. <laughs> so yeah, five squats and then five jumps with your weight. And depending on how you're feeling today, if you want to change up the reps, you know, that's always good too. You do like five squats and three jumps. Whatever feels right for you. And then for the next thing, you can try this without um, your weight to start. We're going to do it with one leg. So you'll plant one leg and then sit down onto your chair and then stand back up again. All still on that same leg. <laughs> and five reps. And then we'll do five with the jump. So try planting that leg and jumping off of it. And then you can reset with both feet when you sit back down. So you don't have to land fully on that one foot. If you want to land on two feet, that's fine. Or you can land on two feet from your jump if you want. And we'll do the other side. Five squats with your weight and then five jumps, one leg. <clears throat> and for when you're doing not for when you're doing the jumping part, but extra challenge for when you're doing the sitting part is see if you can't, like if you're watching yourself in the screen, see if you can't tell exactly when you rest all of your weight onto the chair and then come back up either. So you're like really slowly and with control putting all your weight down. You almost can't even tell when you fully release onto the seat. And then when you're jumping, you can like swing into it and stuff and be dynamic. Nice job, everybody. And then depending on if you're working with like a bench or a chair, we're gonna either, we're gonna follow that up with either floor press or bench press. You could do these on your bench. And again, wait it however you like. And we're gonna do kind of the same idea. So we're gonna do five floor press, so if you want, usually we do more reps or one arm at a time. So if you want on your floor press and you have a double to you, you could go a little heavier today if you want. So we're just gonna do five reps and you can do these on the bench too if you want, but five reps of your floor press and then come back to your box or your bench. You'll be on your knees and you're gonna push up and off your bench. So you're like really exploding off your bench. 
almost like you're jumping with your hands off your bench. And it'll be five reps of those two. So five floor press and then five explosive push-ups from your knees off your bench. <clears throat> And that's the whole set. And so we'll just take the next like 10 minutes for you to do as many rounds of that stuff as you want. And the reps are always five and five, weighted and then jumping basically. For your squat, your single leg, and also your push-ups. I feel like I'm jumping like a half an inch when I do the one leg ones. I guess that's the point. Do like six more minutes for this part.
Two more minutes. So you can kind of finish up your set or maybe pick your favorite part of the set. Or just rest. Like three was good for me. I know the first time through it felt fine, but then as I got even just like the tiniest bit fatigued, I was like, okay, I'm not even getting off the ground. <laughs> yeah, like the first one, I'm like, oh yeah, great. And then right. so much thing, just like find the fifth one, it's way harder. Right, right. I know, and then I, I was like making me frustrated, but then I was like, okay, like you knew that was gonna happen. That's like why we were doing this. <laughs> Because hopefully, you know, doing those jumps while it's hard will help train you to jump better when it's hard. <laughs> okay, we're going to finish it out with some push-ups and step-ups. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to just do five minutes. At the beginning of every minute, we're going to do five push-ups. And you can do any style of push-ups you want. Um, and at the same time, you know, make sure you're getting through the five in like 30 seconds, which hopefully is plenty of time. So if you want to try like a harder version of push-ups today, um, you surely can. Where a lot of times in the last part, I try to encourage you to do like the easiest version of push-ups to keep moving through them, but with only five at a time. And we're just going to finish out the minute with as many step-ups as you can. So you'll have, you can do whatever kind of push-ups you want. Like if you want to do the harder ones, today's a good day to do that. Um, and yeah, we'll just go five minutes, so five push-ups, and then finish the minute with step-ups, and we'll go five straight minutes, and that'll be it for today. Hey, Jenny, will you tell us when we're 30 seconds in? Yes. Yes. I will give you, I'll probably try to do like the 30 seconds, you know, um, unless I miss it on accident, and then like the 10 seconds until the next minute is probably what I'll end up doing. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, great. We'll start in 10 seconds with five push-ups. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! And if you weren't already doing the math, it will add up to 25 
push-ups to kind of like give you a gauge maybe of like how many of each type of push-up you like to do. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. And then we'll go back to push ups. Three, two, one. Five more push-ups. seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, Enzo's so cute on his bed. Three, two, one. Push-ups. seconds. Ten seconds. seconds. Ten seconds. And then I think this is the last set. Three, two, one. Push-ups. Nice work, everybody. 30 Bye, more Molly, seconds. Bye, Bye Molly. One, rest. 